Hello and welcome to Now Gaming. I am Adam Steiner. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you the issues of using auto voltage for your CPU. Now, first off, auto voltage is not stock, it's default. And the defaults change between motherboards and motherboard manufacturers. Now, I'm going to be using my uh, ASRock B450M Pro 4 motherboard with a Ryzen 5 2600 and I'll be using uh, ADA64 to stress test the CPU with um, hardware monitor and Ryzen master to be showing the voltages. So to start off, I have the voltages set to auto and I have had this running for a couple of minutes now. Uh, so let's take a look at the voltages and the temperatures. So if we go in, the voltages, you actually have a minimum of well, 1.137 and a maximum of, holy shit, uh, 1.331 or 0.19 difference or something crazy like that. That's quite a bit. Actually, that one's even gotten lower. So yeah, you're talking about a pretty large variant between high uh, the minimums and the maximums for the voltages. Um, which then indicate this. So you have your current value of 57 and your maximum at 66 Celsius. So what I'm gonna do now is stop the test. Now using Ryzen Master, uh, I'm gonna be switching over to the manual voltage setting and putting in a voltage of 1.2. This is pretty much something I just pulled out of my butt and haven't really tested it at all. So by setting the controls to manual, we will lose precision boost. Uh, and to compensate for that, um, we should set the core speed to uh, 3700 megahertz, which would be 3.7 gigahertz. That all looks good there. I'm gonna hit apply. And then go over to current to make sure that it is applied. It's applied over all cores, excellent. So I'm gonna jump back to uh, sorry, ADA 64, and start the test again. Now I'm going to let this run for a few minutes, and then we'll come back and take a look at what these numbers will be. Just for argument's sake, I am going to hit the uh, clear minimum and maximum. A few moments later. So this has been running for a bit, so let's take a look at these numbers. So the minimums are yeah, at 1.15, pretty much all the way down. The maximums are at the 1.188 volts. Pretty much all the way down, there's two cores there that are slightly lower. Uh, so the temperatures, max temperature of 62, and the value currently right now with this running is at 52. So that's a four degree temperature difference between the auto and the manual. And again, you can actually fine-tune this like you probably can go lower than 1.2 at least on this specific chip and have it be stable uh, and again we're actually even running a little bit faster here a little bit more consistent anyways for our clock speeds so we can either maybe get a little bit more performance uh, or get better temperatures by actually manually inputting our voltages uh, so I guess that's really about it uh, so I guess, please listen, don't use auto voltage. It's maybe killing your CPU, but highly unlikely that's the case, but like you're definitely adding more temperature to your system, which is not a good thing. Adam Steiner here saying, see you next time.